Hello all you horror film fans out there. I'm Amanda Vanderpool here reporting for Maximo TV. And we are in Hollywood for the world premiere of Hatchet 2. And with Halloween just around the corner, we'll talk to the celebs about what they're doing for the upcoming holiday. What was your favorite thing about filming for this movie? Oh my gosh, um, definitely the ending. But I'm not gonna tell you what it is, you have to go see it. <laughs> I get to kick some major ass, so that was my favorite part about filming, I think. So tell us about your character's journey throughout this movie. Basically, Mary Beth is, is gather this group of gangly, backwood, you know, big boys with their guns, and they go back into the swamps to seek revenge against Victor Crowley. So I'm, I'm a girl with a mission. What's different about Hatchet 2 to the first movie? Uh, three times as many kills, you know, we're, we're unrated and uncensored. Like, that's huge. I get to see this on a big screen, that doesn't happen, so. Adam is breaking it, breaking it out and starting some uh, some history. What's the goriest scene that you were involved in? Uh, uh, that I was involved in? I don't want to tell you. You have to go see it. This one has a much bigger storyline than the first one did. It goes really deep into the mythology of the Victor Crowley character. It's got almost triple the body count, better effects, a little bit more violent. And this time when we come out in theaters, it's unrated. And the first time around, all the best stuff of the movie got cut out of the movie. And this has not happened in America in a quarter of a century that a movie is getting put out on major screens unrated. So really, really excited. You're also going to be in the movie. Tell us about your role. I am. Um, I'm actually revisiting my role from the first one. I was young Victor Crowley, so I was the hideous little monster who captured America's heart. Um, so yeah, I'm just back in the second one, just doing that. I also did um, makeup on this movie as well, so yeah. How do you prepare for such an uncomfortable character? Uh, well, that's the thing. You were very uncomfortable in that makeup, and it was literally like, even though people knew it wasn't real, you'd walk around set and they would just, they wouldn't even look at you in the eye, because I only had one eye at the time. They wouldn't even look at you. Like, it was like, literally like, it, it terrified them, even being in just the makeup, so it wasn't too hard. Like, I kind of felt like a pariah, and I kind of felt, you know, it, it's easy to get into character when you've got that much stuff on. It's just, it's just perfect. Everybody knows I like killing people in movies. Uh, I seem to be pretty good at it. And Adam Green always comes up with creative ways of doing it that I don't have to add anything to. So it's kind of a, uh, a nice thing that every kill written in a Hatchet movie is already really good. We're, when I did the Jason movies, I'd always have to add things to the kills to make them more interesting. Uh, with, with the Hatchet ones, they're already there. What's the goriest scene that you have to do in the movie? <laughs> in this movie? Uh, let's just say the ultimate curb stomp. You'll so what's what that? It is when when you see the movie, you'll see what I mean. Can you I give put a guy's face on the edge of a table and stomp on the back of his head? So pretty violent. I play Justin, and basically in the first movie, uh, Sean mentions that he has a brother that that got him the job driving the boat. Uh, I am that brother, the twin, inept, the less inept twin brother of the uh, Asian Cajun twins. So. I'm basically trying to find out what happened to Sean and where's the boat. What's your favorite thing about working in a horror film? I love the practical effects, especially what Adam does, uh, where he doesn't rely on CGI. That um, you know, like great tricks that are like 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 done like Robert Rodriguez. Like you don't have to have a lot of money to make this stuff work. Like for example, I was telling someone that there's an axe, someone throws Victor probably throws an axe at me. I run past camera without the axe, and all of a sudden it whip pans, and then uh. My soul says my stunt double with, a, with an axe in his back. You know, it's, it's got great tricks, you know, that can be done instantly in like two seconds. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Looking forward to seeing it. I can say that I appear in the beginning of the film, that it is in flashbacks, and that I may or may not somehow be related to the killer. But other than that, I don't know if I can say anything. Okay, well, can you at least give fans some, uh, some of your insight into what they can expect about Hatchet 2? Absolutely, I think Hatchet 2, we, Hatchet 1 was amazing, and I think Hatchet 2, Adam even topped himself. It's got amazing kills, it's also hilarious. There's tons of gore, but it's also really fun, so I think even if you're not a horror fan, you'll love the movie. It's really outstanding, he, he outdid himself. Tell us about uh, what fans can expect from your character in this movie. Oh, I have a lot of surprises up my sleeve. I play Nurse Lena. I'm featured in the flashback scenes in the beginning of the film. And um, it turns out that I give birth to Victor Crowley. I am the mother of Victor Crowley. 
Um, so yeah, that'll be a surprise that all the fans hopefully will find out before they watch this interview. But <laughs> I've been freed to tell, so I'm telling. <laughs> what do you guys love about horror movies? Um, I actually am a huge horror movie fan because I can't watch scary films, but I can watch horror films because there is a difference. Scary is like more like reality. Horror is like you know it's fake. Yeah. Like um, I have every Friday the 13th. That's why I'm kind of like starstruck because the guy who plays Jason in the brand new Friday the 13th is here. Yeah. Like he can watch any horror film like Saw or anything, but like when it comes to like The Last Exorcism or like something like that, he can't watch. No. 